Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Planning attacks against mobile targets is dynamic and time critical as the time frame available is extremely small. To neutralize such targets, the sensor must have enhanced situational awareness and reduced shoot time, especially along the frontiers and in insurgent afflicted regions. The need is to provide near real-time intelligence inputs to decision makers. Intelligence, Surveillance, Targeting and Reconnaissance I-STAR system provides such dynamic and time-critical targeting capability and contributes significantly to meet the nation's security goals. This is the reason why they are also called Force Multiplier. I-STAR can intercept enemy signals and instruct ground commander which weapon to be used for counter-offensive strike and exact time of launch of weapon for high-precision strike. The aircraft maintains a two-way feed with all reconnaissance platforms, which includes satellite, aircraft, UAVs, helicopter, and Army ground reconnaissance vehicles. It can also direct the three platforms to change position for better results. It performs all these activities automatically without manual intervention. The I-STAR system used worldwide includes Sentinel of UK, J-STARS of USA, Shadow R1 of UK, ISR MMA of Israel. The system acts as a key element in net-centric warfare. As AVOCs provide air-to-air -air and air-to-sea surface surveillance, the I-STAR complements the AVOCs role by providing air-to-ground surveillance to aid in precision strikes. The role of I-STAR system will be carrying out intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance and targeting in day and night from standoff ranges. It can also keep an eye on activities near borders and littoral areas. The I-STAR system can operate at high altitudes and will be used for intelligence processing, exploiting and generation of common operating picture. The I-STAR aircraft will be simultaneously networked with the airborne network, ground-based network and command and control network. It can also provide battlefield management and command and control processing capability helping in planning and execution of missions. The I-STAR aircraft will be a system of systems that will consist of airborne and ground segments. The airborne segments comprises of mission systems such as AESA-based synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indicator, electronic intelligence and communication intelligence, electro-optical imaginary sensors, communication data links in wide band line of sight and beyond line of sight and very high or ultra high frequency links and self protection suite the development of indian i stars radar electronic intelligence and communication intelligence and other sensors has already been started by drdo's center of airborne system caps the team has rich experience in developing netra aewnc airborne system which has been now split into two expanded teams one for i star and one for netra mark 2 program Last year in October, the Air Force Chief has confirmed that I-STAR program has progressed through the DTTI initiative with the US. The DTTI is Defense Technology and Trade Initiative between US and India which helps to eliminate the bureaucratic obstacles, accelerates timelines, promote collaborative technology exchange, strengthens cooperative research and enables co-production, co-development of defense system for sustainment and modernization of military forces. The development of five I-STAR system is estimated to cost around $3 billion via India-US DTTI free work. India is actively working to finalize this deal with US. The I-STAR is expected to have sensors similar to Raytheon Sentinel on a Bombardier platform. The system is already in service with US and Royal Air Forces. The proposal involves the sale of one I-STARS aircraft by US to India and collaboration on the development of sensors for the replication of a similar capability in India. The I-STAR platform development is going to be a long battle for Indian Air Force because India don't even have a single such platform. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.